For question number 27, we are talking about investment. And the situation is, we put $40,000 into two accounts. The first account pays us 4% interest rate, and the second account pays us 5% interest rate. How much do we put into each account if after one year, we make a total of $1,720? Okay. And because we're talking about um, account, so we can relate that to banks. Let me draw some pictures to illustrate this question. Here's my first bank that pays us 4% interest rate. And we also have the second account, second bank, which pays us 5% interest rate. Okay. So the question is, how much money do we put in here? And how much money do we put in here? Well, I don't know. I don't know how much I put in here. So I'm just going to use a variable to, uh, for that. I can say I put in X amount of money in there. Maybe like 2,000 or maybe 25,000. I don't know yet. Likewise, I don't know how much money I put in here. I will just call that Y. But something I do know is together X plus Y shall be the total that we had at the beginning, which is 40,000. So x plus y should be 40,000. So it could be I put 10,000 here and 30,000 here, things like that. Okay? And that's the first equation, but we have x and y in one equation. right? We need to have another equation in order to make this uh, um, two equations, two, uh, two equations with two unknown, system of equations. To get the second equation, what we are going to do is we are going to look at the percentage rate, the interest rate. I will take 4% and notice that 4% is the same as 0 0.04. I will take the percentage right here times how much money I put into that account. So the second equation I will get is 0 0.04 times x. Okay, And I'm going to add that with the second account, which is the 5%, I change that to 0 0.05 as a decimal. I will take this 0 0.05 times how much money I put in uh, for the second account times y. And that should be this right here. It's how much money we can make uh, from both accounts in terms of the interest, which is 1720 and this is how we come up with two equations with two unknowns. Okay? This is the equation that we're going to work with. And in terms of solve for this, I think let's just do it by um, substitution. Well, of course, we can just do it by elimination. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter how you like to do it. I will just take this. Let me minus y on both sides so I can get rid of the y. So I get x is equal to 40,000 minus y, like that. Okay. So from this, from the first equation, I can get x is equal to 40,000 minus y. And then I can take 40,000 minus y, plug it into this x. So I will get 0 0.04. But no more x, I will put that as parentheses uh, 40,000 minus y. That will be my new x because I solved it earlier. And then continue with the second equation plus 0.05y equals to 1720. Okay? And now we're just going to look at this equation because it has just one y, I mean just one variable in this equation, just the y in this equation. And to solve this the normal way, we just distribute the number in front of the parentheses first. So this times that should be 1600 minus 0 0.04 times y, which is minus, minus 0.04y, and plus, 0.05y 
equals to 1720, like this. Combine item right here, this and that can be combined, which we will get, um, let me just write down the y's first, which is 0 0.01y plus 1600 is equal to 1720. And then minus 1600 on both sides, cancel this out, minus 1600 on both sides, we get 0.01y is equal to that. 120. Okay. 0.01y is equal to 120. And let me see if I can do this. Divide both sides by 0 0.01. Cancel this out. Divide this by 0 0.01. Okay. I get y is equal to, divide this, you get uh, 120. Well, 12,000 12, like this. If you just divide 120 by 0 0.01, you get 12,000 like that. So this is one of my answer, y is equal to uh, 12,000 like that. Okay. Then, uh, the second thing that we have to do to finish this up is, I also have to solve for the x. I know x is equal to 40,000 minus y. So, I'll just say right here, x is equal to 40,000 minus y, which we found out is 12,000. So of course, after we subtract, we will get x is equal to 28,000. Okay, this is right. Okay. So you see that we have the x right here. Let me just kind of just point out x is right here. And then y is right here. However, you cannot just write down x is equal to this and y is equal to that for the answer. Because this is the word problem, we have to answer um, the questions according to the situation. x, it's how much money we're putting into the 4% uh, account. So I would just say we invest 28,000 in the 4% Account. And likewise, the y, which is the 12,000 right here, is how much money we're putting into the 5% account. In the 5% account. And that's how we are going to answer the question. And with this, this finish. Uh, a simple three, a common final sample.